To build a business or any institution, one has to be a conceptual thinker. And one also has to want to climb a high mountain. What is it we did that enabled us to grow from a business in which we invested $900 to a business that ultimately was merged for $3 billion? What is it that we did? And I think what we did was early on understand that recruiting exceptional people was the way to go even though their starting salaries were higher, their expectations were higher, that the return on that investment was the biggest return we'd ever make. One of the uh, concepts that has been central to my thinking for years, many years now, is the notion that, uh, and I use this ex kind of cute phrase, it's all about who, meaning if, if one wants to succeed in any form of human endeavor, then the very topmost person or people need to have the capability to build a team and to cover the ground that has to be covered to migrate from a plan to realization. The notion that leadership is what it's all about uh, is shared by the great institutions of the world. It starts with recruiting and it starts with an understanding of what are the required features of the people we look for. And the people we look for in our foundation activities or in our business activities, they're really the same. We can teach people uh, how to do certain kinds of things. We can't change people. We can teach a dentist how to run a brass foundry, but we can't do much about intellectual firepower or values. So when we say it's all about who, it starts with recruiting that kind of person. And uh, frankly, in our history, both in for-profit and not-for-profit, we've had our share of successes in being able to attract and retain, I'm going to use the word, exceptional people, people of very high quality. And our results uh, reflect that. Up until the mid-70s, we would turn down people we thought were outstanding when we didn't have a job fit, when there was no opening for them. And we came up with the notion of parking. Uh, and uh, what we decided to do was to test out. The next time we had an exceptional person, and they don't come along that often, uh, and didn't have a job for them, we'd hire them. And we'd hire them with the understanding that something was sure to come up. In the last, since the mid-70s, uh, and all the years that have transpired until today, we've probably done it 10 or 12 times. Not 100 times, but at least 10 or 12 times, without the first failure. First, strategy is critical. Strategy is central. The wrong strategies, well executed, uh, lead you to nowhere, or worse. Uh, on the other hand, <laughs> to some extent, I think strategy is overemphasized, uh, maybe even overrated, in the sense that it's not sufficient. An outstanding strategy does not stand on its own legs. It has no legs. The legs are really, uh, to use a metaphor, uh, the way in which the strategy will, will be realized. And that's execution. And I think uh, just generalizing with what I've seen, there is more likely to be good strategy than there is to be good execution. There's more likely to be an awareness and understanding that there has to be strategy, there has to be a strategic plan, <clears throat> than there is that superior execution makes all the difference in the world. It is what represents the difference. What made uh, Premier Industrial Corporation, which is an important part of my business life, successful and what enabled Premier Industrial Corporation to generate after-tax profits virtually double 
what anyone else in any of the businesses we were in were able to earn was the quality of our execution, the intensity with which we, quote, killed ourselves for our customers, end quote. And that takes discipline. That takes a structured, organized system to which there is constant, 100% all the time, adherence, fidelity. And people have to get that. When we have a new idea, we would build a vision, and uh, when we're all finished, how would we define success? So the expression, think big, start small, is really a process. It describes a process. And we would work backwards, in a sense, to what is the smallest step we can take initially uh, that uh, make, made sense. Theoretically, one would make their mistakes when we're small. And always, we've got this vision. So we know our destination. We just travel early on at a slower pace, uh, assuming we're gonna learn a lot. We have evolved a, a method used by every one of our institutions, for-profit and non-profit. Anything that, where we are more or less in control or have a large influence, uses the exact same system. Our foundation, the offshoots of our foundation, our business life, the existing businesses and any new businesses we get into, all use a structured planning and control system, which gives me and our other leaders great comfort. Mostly it's the people, not the system. But the people plus the system gives a better result than the people without the system, and of course the system without the people. So the reason I think that we've been as successful as we have in many of the things we've undertaken is because we combine uh, setting uh, high bars, setting goals that are worthy of our efforts, uh, and combining those goals with an organization that is made up of very high quality people. And if you get an environment in which they feel is conducive to success and progress and personal growth, that's it, you knock the ball over the wall. You just uh, score big time. And we have scored big time in our business life and in our nonprofit life, at least in my view. And that's why. We raise the bar. We raise the bar all the time. And I call that constructive discontent because I've learned the bar can generally be raised. There's no question in my mind that there is no bar anywhere, no level of performance anywhere, where striving to improve the situation is not a worthy effort. And I think it's an important management technique. I think it's an important, it's one of the behaviors that should characterize leaders. That they should always be going for better achievement, better outcomes. Uh, and and uh, frankly, uh, I do think uh, in almost every kind of human endeavor, we're far from the top of the mountain. And it's just a question of, uh, I think understanding that uh, there is no limit to what an enterprise can accomplish.